guys, Reefer Gill here. In this video, we're going to talk about brooklinosis, also known as brook, also known as clownfish disease, and how to treat it with formaldehyde or doing formalin dips. I purchased two black and white Ocellaris clownfish from Blue Zoo Aquatics. They're supposedly tank raised. They arrived, one of them right off the bat uh, was showing stress, couldn't breathe gasping for air and he died within four to five days of being in a quarantine. That's all the symptoms I've seen. He didn't show any other symptoms on his coat or anything like that. The second guy that I had, uh, he stopped eating shortly thereafter, started showing signs on his skin. Uh, it was cloudy patches of uh, all over his skin and a little bit of sliminess look to it. So the only thing I could think of from doing the research that I did was the closest match was uh, Brooklynosis, didn't look like velvet, those were the only two I was up in the air about. Once I identified it, I had to treat them. Um, Brooklynosis kills really quick. I had nothing on hand to treat them, so the first thing I did was give them a bath dip in uh, just fresh RODI water for about 10 minutes and then put them back in the tank. That was before I went to bed. In the morning when I woke up, he was 100% clear on his coat. There was no signs of any issues on his coat that, that day up until the evening time. And then bam, all that uh, slime came back. I was panicking, trying to find this formalin stuff. I never even dealt with it or handled it. Couldn't find it. The best I could do was um, cordone, but it only had 3% formaldehyde in it. Everything I read you should use 37 to 40 percent formaldehyde. I went over to a, a fish place in Hayward, California and he had a big old jug of formaldehyde, 37 percent. He poured me a little bit in this bottle here and uh, I was out the door, came home and I started doing the formaldehyde treatment on the sick clown. I was intending to do uh, formaldehyde dips on him for anywhere between 30 minutes to 60 minutes depending on how much stress I saw from the fish was going to determine how long he's going to be in there but no longer than 60 minutes and I was going to go for five days in a row. When I made it to day two of the formaldehyde treatment um, I woke up in the morning and the second clownfish uh, died so both neither clown made it um, in communication with Blue Zoo Aquatics they're backed up right now understandably because of the long weekend holiday uh, what we just had with Christmas so it looks like they're gonna I, they knew about the first one because right away I sent them an email hey this guy died you, you didn't make it within a week their policy is they'll give you credit if that fish dies within one week of it being shipped out to your home so I don't know what the credit is I don't know if it's 100% credit 50% credit I don't know quite yet. I haven't had a representative on the phone. It's been through email so I'll let you know how Blue Zoo Aquatics handles it. These guys are apparently tank raised so my understanding is that brooklinosis is mainly a disease that attacks wild caught clownfish. Now I don't know if they're mixing their wild caught clownfish at Blue Zoo Aquatics or or what. Um, they were, those clowns were the very first uh, one of the very first fish introduced into the system so it's not like I had brokernosis before and I gave it to them in my system. Like I mentioned I'm going to be doing a formaldehyde treatment on the clown. This is the bucket I'll be using. There's one gallon of water in there. You can see the bubbler going. Once the formaldehyde's in there and I'm going to put about um, half a milliliter in there, it actually starts having a effect on the oxygen. It depletes oxygen of the water so it's very important that if you're doing a formaldehyde dip to have a bubbler in there to agitate the surface of the water so you have better oxygen exchange in there. Also important not to have your water uh, 80 degrees or higher because the higher the temperature of that water that you're using the less oxygen is going to be in there so you're going to be having uh, a tag team working together in there with the formaldehyde and higher level temperatures. When you handle formaldehyde you want to make sure you you use protection. These gloves and then I'm actually going to put some um, 
eye protection on as well. So I'll go ahead and dose this one gallon bucket of water with some formaldehyde. The formaldehyde that I'm using um, is 37% uh, formaldehyde. I purchased it from a fish store in Hayward, California. If you guys are in the area and you're looking for this stuff, um, hit me up and I will let you know what store I bought it from. But I looked everywhere for this stuff and I couldn't find it. There is some um, brand names that are out there um, such as a Cordone that sell like 3% formaldehyde. Everything I've read, you want to use 37 to 40% formaldehyde to treat, to treat these guys. All right. So I'll go ahead and dose the system. Okay, I have the formaldehyde here. Okay. That's it. A few drops in there. Let that circulate mix up and then I'll introduce the clownfish. Alright so we're going to leave the clown in here in the formalin dip for one hour. When you do this make sure you actually set a timer or an alarm for one hour. We get uh, really busy and it's uh, easy to forget that uh, we got a little guy getting treated for uh, parasites using basically poison to do so. So make sure you guys uh, have something to remind yourselves that you need to come back in an hour. And we will come back and see how he's doing. Formaldehyde treatment that you just saw can also be used to treat ick, as well as obviously brooklinosis. The one thing I didn't make clear is you don't want to put formaldehyde into your quarantine system, directly into your quarantine system. It should only be used in a separate bucket to treat your, your sick fish. If you guys had any experience with brooklinosis or any other methods you may have used that were successful or not successful in treating brooklinosis, please post down below so that we can all um, share from your experience. Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe guys and thanks for watching.